In today's video, I'm going to be talking about plate boundaries, those being the boundaries found between the tectonic plates on the Earth's surface. And we know that our tectonic plates are moved around the Earth's surface by convection currents within the Earth's mantle. So what happens when those boundaries, um, either the tectonic plates are moving apart, they're moving together, or they're moving past each other. We're going to have a look at the different types of plate boundaries that exist, starting with divergent plate boundaries. So we're looking at the oceanic crust here. Um, and what we're going to see is the plates moving in opposite directions. In a small um, fissure will form, there'll be a little gap. Your magma is going to move up into that gap and fill the space and it's going to cool and create new ocean floor as it goes. The other thing that can happen with an ocean crust is that as the plate is moving apart, bits of magma are going to kind of erupt out of it like a volcano except underwater. And as that magma hits the ocean water, it's going to cool. Um, so it becomes solid rock and it adds layer and layer and layer of solid rock until it becomes an actual island where people can live um, and work and grow things. And one whole country where this is the case is the entire country of Iceland is a result of this kind of volcanic activity at um, the divergent plate boundary. So convergent plate boundaries are when two tectonic plates meet it can be oceanic crust, continental crust, or a combination of both. So first we're just going to look at the oceanic crust. So we've got two oceanic crusts moving towards each other, um, and one is going to be forced to go under the other. So as one subducts, um, the other plate is lifted slightly, and it kind of moves around the, the tectonic plate enough that um, some of the mantle, that magma, is going to start um, breaking through the crust. And um, as that happens, we've got volcanic activity that takes place underwater, um, combined with the pushing up of that plate, and we end up with little islands forming. And this is going to happen the whole way along that tectonic plate, which will give us an archipelago, so a volcanic arc. And if you look there between Russia and Alaska, we have a nice long belt of islands as a result. The second type of convergent boundary is a continental and an oceanic um, tectonic plate meeting. Um, and as these meet, the oceanic tectonic plate is going to be forced to subduct. So it's going to be pushed underneath the continental plate, and it's also going to cause um, some movement of that magma, which is going to cause volcanic activity. And on that coastline, we'll have a trench forming. Um, so earthquakes, volcanoes, and trenches are typical of this type of plate boundary. And if you look at the coast of South America here, just um, to the west of Peru and Chile, you can see a beautiful subducting plate there. Um, and that has resulted in the formation of the Andes mountain range of South America. The third type of converging plate boundary we're going to look at is when we have two continental crusts that meet each other. So here we're hypothetically looking at India meeting the Asian tectonic plate. And one is going to be forced under the other. We will still have a subduction zone, except in this instance, um, we're going to see a lot more um, uplift of the continental tectonic plates. And the one that we are all very familiar with as an example of this is the Himalayas. So if you look along that yellow line, that would be our subduction zone where we have the one tectonic plate going under the other tectonic plate and we get a lot of earthquakes and that kind of thing in this area and the Himalayas is still growing one centimeter every year. The last type of plate boundary we're going to talk about is a transform plate boundary and what this is is when we're looking at it from the top, so it's an aerial view, we see two plates, tectonic plates, gliding past each other. And I've put a road in for perspective. So as they glide past each other, you're going to see that the one plate will move. Well, they'll both move in opposite directions um, and split, for example, a road or any other piece of infrastructure that is there. Um, what you will see here is in um, California, 
between San Francisco and Los Angeles, um, the San Andreas Fault running along that line. Um, and what's quite interesting with this picture, if we zoom in a little closer, is you can see where that road used to run. Um, but as these plates have glided past each other, the one currently showing is gliding to the southeast, and the other plate is gliding to the northwest, and you can see that this road has actually become uneven um, as a result of this tectonic plate movement. And there we have it, our three different types of plate boundaries. We have our divergent, convergent, and transform plate boundaries. And we have some really nice examples of all three of those that we can see around the world very clearly. Um, hope you learned something here on this video. Like, share, subscribe. See you for the next one.